If your goal is to develop stronger and higher kicks, then developing stronger hip flexors is guaranteed to help. The loaded hip flexor lifts are a very simple but very effective exercise for developing some ridiculous strength and power through the hip flexors. It's, it's one of my personal favorites. So let's talk a little bit about the setup first. So we're going to want to have some sort of elevation to stand on so that our feet is, are off the floor and we have enough space for the weight to actually move down and allow us to find a full extension of the knee so that the leg is straight at the bottom of every rep. So here I'm just standing on a couple yoga blocks. You can figure something out for yourself if you have something that's more comfortable or effective for you, that's great. And we're also gonna to wanna to make sure that we have some sort of support to hold on to while we're executing the reps. And the reason why I like this so much and why it's so important is because it allows us to stay a lot stricter with our body position, stay nice and upright with our torso, and ensure that we're keeping the body still, and all the work is coming from the hip flexors alone, rather than having any sort of compensations with our body, where we're using other muscles to get the weight up from point A to point B. We wanna keep the upper body still, hold on to that support, and just use the hip flexors to lift up into position and back down. And this also helps to just take the balance and the coordination out of the equation a little bit more so you have more stability and you can really just focus all your energy on the contraction of the hip flexors. So ideally we want to use a kettlebell to load the movement because by using a kettlebell it forces us to actively dorsiflex the ankle and use the tibialis anterior to support the weight. Now the tibialis is a muscle that runs from the knee down to the ankle via your shin. So by using a kettlebell to load the movement, not only are we training our hip flexors, but we're actually training our shins and our ankles and our feet as well. Now with this exercise, we wanna make sure that we're getting at least 90 degrees of hip flexion or more with every rep or while we're holding the isometric end range. Uh, so 90 degrees of hip flexion is going to be having the thighs parallel to the floor. All right, so that's our minimum range of motion requirement. If you're not able to get at least to here or higher, then you're probably using too much weight and we're gonna wanna dial it down a bit and then build up from there. And just like any other strength exercise, the goal is to progressively overload over time by adding more weight as you get stronger. So that is the loaded hip flexor lift.